This afternoon, we had an undercover officer at Haven Apartments on Bridgeway Drive who was conducting surveillance in regard to a completely different case. While he's there in the apartment complex, the Dodge that you have seen, the red Dodge, comes in uh, and at least one person in the Dodge begins firing shots from the vehicle into the air, obviously drawing the attention of the undercover detective. Uh, the Dodge pulls out, the undercover officer follows. Uh, it didn't take the occupants of the Dodge long to see that they were being followed, and then they uh, inexplicably begin shooting back at the undercover police vehicle. In fact, the undercover car uh, or vehicle was hit twice, and the uh, car took off. Uh, officers worked diligently to bring those individuals to a stop. They ultimately hit another vehicle and spun out there on Patricia Drive, where you all have seen the car sitting, and they fled into the neighborhood. A police helicopter was above them as they spun out when they got out of the car, and at least one of them decided to start firing shots directly at the police helicopter. Uh, the police helicopter has landed, has been examined, and it was not struck. The four individuals ran into a wooded area in the vicinity of Millwood Drive and Murfreesboro Pike. There was a large police presence, not only of Metro officers, uh, Metro SWAT officers, the Tennessee Highway Patrol helicopter, and a secondary MNPD helicopter. Uh, the four evidently decided that there was no way they could get out of that situation, and they all four surrendered. Uh, they appear to be juveniles of Hispanic descent. All four have been taken to police headquarters and are now being interviewed. Uh, charges uh, against them will be determined, but I think uh, you can suffice it to say that we fully believe that the individual or individuals who were shooting at the police vehicle and the police helicopter are in our custody, and charges in regard to uh, that will be forthcoming. Uh, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms has a specially trained dog that we have requested, and that dog is going to be used to help us try to backtrack to find any weapons that may have been discarded once they fled from that red vehicle, that red Dodge. When we, we four total, four correct. Correct. When we were kind of pulling up, we saw a lot of school buses. This is around the same time kids are coming home from school, how dangerous to have something like this happen, especially with some local schools in the area? Well, one priority of the police department was to make sure the schools in the immediate area knew, as did schools' transportation. The neighborhoods had to be blocked off as officers were going through neighborhoods trying to find these armed individuals. Uh, for a time, school buses couldn't get through neighborhoods, but uh, as soon as we were able to determine that all four were in custody, there was no further danger, the roads were reopened. How concerning is it, I know you guys cover juvenile cases all the time, but to have these four teens actively shooting at MMPD officers and detectives? Well, what a positive coincidence it was that an undercover officer just happened to be in that initial apartment complex on Bridgeway when they rolled in and started firing shots into the air. I mean, if that uh, undercover detective had not been there, we may not have known about them yet. Uh, and then he was able to put information out, then they fired at his vehicle, and then uh, shooting a gun at a police helicopter, uh, extraordinarily dangerous. You know, we say how dangerous it is uh, to uh, shoot a laser beam at a police helicopter. Firing a gun is uh, even more dangerous. Uh, luckily, the police helicopter was not hit. Okay. Gun violence of any kind is always concerning, but when you look at the ages of what these kids are, can you sort of talk a little bit about that? I mean, the, how troubling it is that kids these age uh, were shooting at police and have guns. Well, these four individuals appear to be very young. We haven't confirmed their ages yet, but just looking at them as they were being taken away from the scene, uh, some of them don't appear to be much above 12. Uh, again, the ages have not been confirmed. Uh, to think that they were in uh, a vehicle, a high-powered vehicle like that Dodge Charger, Challenger, whichever one it was, uh, shooting a gun and then shooting at the police, shooting at a helicopter. Uh, I think Nashville should be glad at this moment that those four are in custody and uh, we need to hold them accountable for what they've done. This is uh, 
uh, a situation that they'll be interviewed by our homicide cold case unit, which investigates situations where police officers are fired upon. And uh, we will, based on interviews and the information available, we'll hold them accountable. Uh, so no they're, officers, they're not, no officers hurt no. That's correct. No, no officers were hurt. So since you have still have the investigation process, what charges would they be facing? Do you know at this moment it's still pending? They're at headquarters being interviewed at, as we speak. Okay. Okay. That's it. Thank hey, you very much. So far as damage, there was only one metro car that's damaged, right? There was an undercover metro police vehicle. Uh, it was a pickup truck. It was an undercover metro police pickup truck that uh, sustained two gunshots. Uh, the undercover detective, thankfully, was not hit. Okay. You, All right. What, what time was this at? I'm just kind of late. So. Um, at the time it first started, Brooke, probably around 2.30. Thank you.